Okay, guys, I am at Ikea <laughs> and I need to bring these things back. I am a notorious not bringing things backer and I need to bring these back because these curtains are going to be too short to put in the living room and the tracking system that I got, it's just not going to work because it's too short. So, and then the three that I have is going to be too much, so it's not going to fit. So I think I need to just get the ones that are on Amazon. So yeah, I'm taking these back. I'm going to just bring everything back and then go on Amazon to find some alternatives. While I'm here, I think I'm going to just do a little walk around. I've been in the house all day. I don't think it hurts to come and see what else they have in here. I'm not sure it'll be any different than last time, but let's go inside to return these. Guys, The I'm in Burbank. It is so, so hot. I mean, wow. It's so hot. It's like 93 degrees and I love being hot. But I just came back from Arizona and it was like 110, 115 degrees. So that's kind of crazy. But yeah, it's hot. But when I left the house, it was not 93 or 95 degrees. I think it was like 85. It's 10 degrees hotter over here. But whatever. It's a beautiful day out. Kind of took me a bit to get out of the house today. Not gonna lie, I have certainly been in my head all day. I think maybe later. We'll chat through it, but uh, I was struggling this morning because I was doing a lot of overthinking and that's not the way to go when you're believing and following in Christ. Hi. I need to do some returns. Okay, thank you. So yeah, it's, I was doing a lot of overthinking, which not the vibe. Sorry. Now I almost knocked some people out with a little stick. Okay, anyways, I was just listening to a word one of my influencers sent me. Um, Brittany, thank you so much. I don't know if you're even going to be watching this. But she sent me, like, quite a few uh, messages from YouTube from pastors. And the title of this one was called, I Keep Thinking the Worst. He's doing a deep dive. I'm going to include it somewhere in the description because, Wow. It's a good one, so I'm still listening to it. I came in here, so I'll finish listening to it when I go back in the car. But yeah, that's a spill on my day. And let me ask for help. Excuse me, am I going the right way for the returns? I do feel kind of anxious, so I need to just calm down. Everything is fine. I'm just so dramatic. Okay, anyways, I feel a lot better talking about it and going through the vibes. It's gonna be a while before it's my turn. Is someone sitting right here? No. <laughs> you can always find me at Ross. <laughs> I'm in here because I don't need to be here, but I returned the stuff at Ikea, but I'm making a stop at Ross to see if I can find some chairs. Excuse me. Because I need two chairs to put in my little desk area. These are cute. Ooh. I see a chair here that I really like. I've been seeing this one. This is like a bench situation, which could work, but I want two chairs. chairs. That one, it's wide and it's big, but there's only one. Do I take this as a desk chair? Because I do need that. Let's see what else is in here. I actually did find some cool points from Ross. I don't know if I showed it to you guys yet, but this little palm tree one is actually kind of cool. I did not need to be getting this. I got one like this already at home. This one, it's like an abstract. But, look at this. How cute is that? $25 now. Not today. I think nothing at this Ross. I'll probably stop at like two other Rosses 
to see if there's anything else. But as of right now, we're headed home. I know that there is a Home Goods nearby. So I'm in Burbank. I might as well just go to the Home Goods and see if there's anything there. And then make my way down the line of Rosses. Uh, there's like three other Rosses. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and finish listening to the sermon. We're off to Home Goods. Look how cute this share is. I feel like this is the vibe I'm going for. But there's only one. And then she's a cute coin. That's crazy. For just one. But there's a variety of chairs. So don't want beige. Home goods is a pricey girl. How much is she? A hundred dollars. This is cute. Eighty dollars. Is it me or is Home Goods a pricey girl? And there's two. That'll be six hundred dollars in chairs. Not me. Can't do it. Oh, let's see what else is on this side. Home goods is so expensive. Let me just go ahead and walk up out of here. And we're out. Home goods is an expensive girl. $300 for a chair. I need something to drink. I've actually never been to Aldi. This will be my first time going in there. I look so disheveled. <laughs> this is how I feel on the inside. I made it home. I made it. The people upstairs, they have a different mission. <sighs> they be doing a big one. I don't know what they be having going on, but they, they're on another level of, don't know how to be quiet. I made it home and I wanna go journal. Let me just grab some headphones so I can listen to some music while I do that. I could do this at the balcony because I do have a balcony. I was out there earlier this morning talking to my sister and everything. So I think I could switch up the scenery, get some airflow going and just really get my mind right. Where the heck? Guys, I also lost my AirPods, which is such a shame because I think I've had those AirPods for like four or five years and they've been in good. This lady goes and work out, works out every day. Oh my god, the people upstairs. Do you guys hear that? Oh, no. The view upstairs is really nice. And maybe we do the life catch up there. I feel like I wanted to sit down and like look nice. I feel like I look crazy. You see, I knew I had to come out here because look at this. Is it dangerous if I put you guys right there? Is it? Maybe I should put you guys this way. Well, I am, oh my God, the sky looks beautiful. I kind of want the sky to be in my background, but that's not the point. <clears throat> But I did come out here to journal because I am feeling very anxious and I know I haven't been vlogging for some time now and life has just been lifing. Not in a negative way, but I feel like there are things taking place in my life. I guess I could catch you guys up. Again, like I said, I wanted to do like a catch up that was just like I was sitting down and it was like an ambiance and yeah, but this is the raw real that you're gonna get i moved to this apartment um back in march and it's been incredible um and i thank god every day i'm just like god thank you thank you thank you thank you and it's been great you know i love it i'm comfortable i feel happy to be here i feel like this 
like coming up here right now and being able to see the sky like this like you guys know i'm obsessed with the sky i come out here and it just reassures me that you know this place i like this place a lot i really do and i feel comfortable here and i feel happy here and i tell god all the time how grateful i am because i'm just so stunned and I was, as I was making my way back upstairs, I just started to feel the weight of how I've been feeling just kind of reduce and release and remove. And it's a process, you know, just coming in the, in the apartment. I just was like, this feels good. That's like the thought that I had today that made me feel like, wow, it's going to be okay. Life update. I have decided after six years, I have decided to quit my job never in my life have i ever done something like this and i'd be lying if i say i'm not scared i don't have anything lined up i am terrified and i think that's the reason that i think i know for a fact that's the reason why i'm feeling very anxious because i'm just feeling very like what am i doing what am, what's going on why am i doing this today actually makes a week since i put my resignation in um, to my superiors it's been six and a half years and you know I've endured so much at this place you guys get to see the glitz and the glam of it all where things are like beautiful and perfect and you know, I've endured some things where I'm just like I just cannot do this again I just can't and definitely there were some things that took place that led me to this decision that I just was like I just don't want to do this it was an emotional Sunday for me last week where I just went through a whole bunch of emotions of just like feeling so much granted my period came on the next day but that's okay yeah and I remember just feeling moved by God and I also felt like God was calling me to be obedient I feel like he's calling me to be obedient to leave this job to start recollecting a lot of things that have taken place where I'm just like no He's not asking me to do that. I fasted, I did a three day fast where I did no food, no water for three days. And in that I was like, I should feel something. And truthfully, I don't, I wanna say like, I didn't really feel anything, but I did have, I did have an encounter with God in Isaiah 60, 22, which I believe it is. If it's not, I'll put the right one. You know, I kept repeating that, which is at the right time, I, the Lord will make it happen. And I was dealing with this work situation that also just dealing with people who, you know, lack respect, um, don't know how to talk to people. It's just that. And that continues to take place. Last week, Sunday, when I made the decision, the final decision, because I was like, I am tired of tiptoeing or resetting every single time. Like every Monday or every single day, I reset. And I'm like praying to God to make sure when I go in there, I don't say anything crazy. I don't do anything crazy. I don't want to be um, received in the wrong way. Like, and so it just becomes exhausting, especially when the there are others who are not doing that. And it's also been six and a half years. So it's definitely time for me to make a change. And each time that I was encountered with something at work that made me feel not the best would ask God I'm like are you asking me to leave and I would just tell myself myself I would be like there's no way because I have a lot of bills to pay I have a lot of responsibilities like I have to find something else and I have been in this process of looking for something and if I'm being truthful guys I've been wanting to leave my job and it's not that I don't want to work I totally want to work I want to continue working I don't mind working I like having a job. I like having somewhere to be. I like waking up in the morning and going to the office and meeting my team members and things like that. Like, I like that. But I do feel like I'm at a place right now where I have outgrown, plus I've stopped learning anything new. I really want to build myself in this profession and, you know, in this career. And I just don't think that's taking place right now. And I've just hit this stagnant. This is beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, and every time I'd be like, are you asking me to leave? Every time I would have this encounter and I would talk to God about this work situation, just work in general, I'm like, is, is this you telling me that I need to quit? Like, I've never done that before. Like, I'm not, I'm somebody who's going to stick it out for the long haul. I'm a very loyal girl by default. Um, maybe it's the Libra in me. Every single time I'm like, 
Is he asking me to be faithful? If he's, is he asking me to step out on faith to believe that he'll take me out this situation? Because like, why hasn't he given me another opportunity while I'm here? Because what I want is a safe plan, a plan where I can apply to something, get another job and then leave. And that's how I would always do it. And it just hasn't been that for some time now. And like I said, I feel like, you know, in tw August 2021, I wanted to leave. I was like, I have to get out of here. And I started to feel this way. And as time went on and on and on and on, there were some moments that got really good. And then some moments where I was just like, Ugh. and then it went back and forth and it was just limbo. And I just was like, I'm at a place right now where I am not excited about my role. Um, I'm not motivated by my role. I dread getting up. I've never been in this place ever in my whole life, but now I am. It's crazy because I'm just like, I'm ready for growth in my role. And I just don't foresee that taking place here. And granted, like my job is a very cool job. Like it is cool. And I'm so grateful that the past six and a half years, I've been able to experience everything that I've experienced here and been a part of so many things. In the same breath, I'm also just like, there is so much more that I could do. I want a different title. I want a different role. I'm continue to lead a team. I also want respect. And I feel like respect isn't what's being done. And then also, um, I want to make more money. So yeah, it's been six and a half years of just like back and forth, back and forth and i've endured so much i can't even begin to tell you guys all the things i had a situation take place at work and i think i mentioned this to you guys in a previous vlog where i was on a work trip it got really bad something terrible happened that i've never been involved in and i was just like are you is this me are you telling me to leave now like and i had the same question are you asking me to be able to leave? Like, are you asking me to quit? And I feel like that's what he's saying. But also I'm in the, in the same breath. I'm like, it ain't, okay, it ain't, you know the same, like if it ain't broke, why try to fix it? It's not that it's fixed. It's like broken, it's broken for sure, but it's glued and taped, it's barely holding on. So yeah, anyways, I say all that to say, I put in my two weeks. So this week is my last week at PLT, which is so crazy. I never thought that this is what it would look like. And honestly, I am sad, obviously, because six and a half years is a long time. But you know, I'm walking away with so much. I've learned so much. I've done so much. I feel confident that I can do this somewhere else. But yeah, I felt God telling me it is time for me to pick up my stuff and go. And in the midst of doing that, I feel like this is the time what I feel right now is I need to be obedient. And in order for me to be obedient, I need to put aside this security because I'm, you know, maybe I'll have time to talk about it in another vlog or another time, but I put in so much trust, so much security in this job. And it's because my reality is like, I'm doing LA and living here on my own by myself. Like I don't have help. I don't have my mom helping me. I don't have siblings or friends helping me. I am self-sufficient with God, obviously. So I, that's the thing that I'm relying on. So now I have nothing lined up, but I have been applying. I do have some savings and that's what I'm like, you know, going off of i don't have much of a plan um and i don't have like an insane amount of savings it's enough for me to figure it out for god to lead me to where he wants me to and it is so scary being obedient and trusting god is so scary and it shouldn't be and that's the part i'm like so embarrassed about i'm embarrassed that I'm not believing in God because he gave, he's done so much for me in the past and every single day God continues to show up for me and I get to a place where I'm like, oh, is he going to be able to do it? It's, it's a lot to have that assignment and listen to God and be obedient to what God is calling you to do. And I feel like God is calling me to do that. And in the past, I feel like when I hear people say that, I'm like, how do you know you know you know you will know god is going to call you to do something that you do not want to do and i kept telling myself i was like this is not something that i want to do because if it was up to me i'll probably give plt another i could give it another three years you know and boom 10 years have gone by 
I don't want to do that anymore. And it's not something that I want to do, but it's something that I have to do. And I do feel like God is calling me to do this. Like I said, I've endured so much and I'm just I'm just ready to walk away. And I know that that's something I'm do that I need to do. So in a mist, it's a mixture of letting go, walking away. Also just kind of mourning that routine and that life and six and a half years of just like this company. I've never been in a relationship, a long-term relationship. I've never been in a relationship at all. This is the longest relationship I've ever been in. And is that sad to say? Is that sad to say? I think so. This is the longest relationship I've ever been in. And it's been, it, there's been moments of very high moments of this relationship being toxic. There have been some high moments of it being great and mind blowing. And then there has been some like, really just down not great moments and I feel like in the past nine months nearly a year I have not I just don't have it in me anymore I think to have been playing this game of tug of war each time I keep playing uh oh I'm Ashley um, I've been playing this game of tug of war of just like let it go don't let it go let it go don't let it go and I have to, and I know that God is gonna come through. I'm just a little scared um, because I don't know how things are gonna end up, but I know that he has a greater plan for me. And the message that I was listening today to today, which I am going to include at the bottom of this in the description, basically the guy was saying like, you have to have faith that God is gonna come through for you. And he has a plan, a good plan for you. You having faith in the worrying and thinking about bad thoughts and negative thoughts, that is you having faith in a negative thought. That is you having faith of it not working out. That is you having faith that it will be catastrophic. And he just talked about that. And it's things like, obviously that you know, it's like, it's very like, you know this. But when you hear it and you start to realize it again, you start, I start to feel embarrassed because I'm just like, yeah. I literally, and my friend pointed this out as well, when she, when I was going through this with her and everything, she was just like, we got in a car, the Waymo car, the self-driving car, with no issues. Like, I mean, yeah, it was a little scary, but we were just like, sure that we're going to get home with no research, no data, no nothing. We were sure we're going to get, how can I hop in a car like that and be fine? But then the God who has come through for me time after time after time after time has called me to leave this place, has called me to be obedient and leave. And now you talking about some, well, I don't know if he's going to be. What? That's kind of crazy. Hello? I say all that to say, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how things are going to go. While I'm unemployed looking for work, I just really want to release the burden of worry and surrender to God and have full trust and belief that he will come through. And he will because he's shown me time after time. It is not what I heard, but it's what I know. God has, listen, I am a standing testimony of what God can do. I don't know if you guys have been or follow Union Church. My sister put me onto Union Church. They're doing 21 days of prayer. And every morning I'm on there and I'm like emotional because I'm just like reminded of how much God cares for me and loves for me and he will not forsake me. And God has come through for me so many times where literally I have to have this deep understanding and trust that everything will be okay does it look scary right now yes well it actually doesn't look scary at all everything is fine but am i making it scary yes am i allowing my mind to create these narratives yes am i focusing on not the potential good that could come and like the role that i'll get the job that i'll be working at the environment and that's what i've been praying on i'm like god i pray that i get to an environment where i'm respected i pray that i get to an environment where you know i get the title i'm leading a team i'm making the salary god i'm praying that when i get there the environment is okay i'm praying that everyone treats people with respect you know and i'm praying for that and then this journey already like i'm starting to get um you know, feedback from some jobs that I'm replying to, applying to, and some have been rejections, and I'm just like, that's okay. I'm not allowing myself to be discouraged. Like, of course, like I'm anticipating to get every single one. I'm just telling myself that no, or that rejection, or that email telling me I didn't get the job, or I didn't get the interview, I didn't go to the next round. 
um, that is letting me know that that's not in alignment with what I'm asking God. That's not in alignment with what he wants for me. So, cat, let it go, you know? So, it's scary. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm not, I'm not uh, nervous. I am a little nervous. And I'm not even nervous about leaving PLT. I'm, it has to happen. Like that part, I need to leave that job for sure. You know, grateful that I've had it the last six and a half years and I've grown. Um, but I'm ready to move on and do really great things. 2024, I cannot go into 2025 doing that, doing that job. But whatever is in line with what God wants, that's what I want. This is the journey that I'm on right now. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. But, you know, I know in the end, everything will be just fine. And also, I don't know how long this season is going to be. Who's to say? I leave. my This week may be my last week. And next week, I get an offer, you know. Or maybe it's the next month. I don't know, you know. But I am, you know, I am expecting big from God. I am expecting a lot from Him. And I am expecting Him to move in a miraculous right way. Um, and I know He will. I know he will he'll continue to provide so even when whatever i'm looking at or what i'm seeing right now looks like it ain't gonna work out i need to understand that god is by my side i am not a perfect christian never deem myself to be perfect i am so imperfect i am working daily on trying to become a better christian but you know i do think and i was telling myself i'm my sister i was like of all the people he knows i'm such a scaredy cat. why is he asking me to do this why isn't he asking anybody else? But I feel like this is something, my faith and trusting God and building trust in God is something that I have been, you know, wrestling with. You know, it's definitely something that I want to get better at. And maybe he's just using me for those who are just like me or have that mindset of being worried and, you know, not leaning on him and his understanding. He's using me to be that testimony or that spokesperson to say, if he could do it for me, of all people, me. And he's already done it. He's already done it time after time after time. He's shown it. So I don't even know why I'm tripping, but I am, you know, I'm tripping because there's the reality of like the job market of just like everything I'm hearing is just like, it's not positive. So, you know, but God, I know God is going to come through. So, <sighs> one of the words sermons that I listened I'm list, I had listened to earlier this week there's she was just like sometimes in this moment you have to go back in your faith bank and you have to pull out all the times God came through and how he used you know your situation to show you like he's gonna come through and when I tell you that moved me I say all that to say I after six years six and a half years I am leaving my job. This week is my last week. And I will do my best to try to take you guys through it. Or maybe I'll do like a compilation. A compilation of just like everything from the past six and a half years. In the meantime, I want to just be encouraged. So if you have any encouraging words, please drop them here. Um, you know, have you ever done something like this before? And you stepped out on faith and, you know how did it go for you just give me encouraging words words that'll just be uplifting <laughs> who knows a week a month six months three months from now i don't know guys i don't know what i'm gonna what it's gonna look like but i'm believing god i'm believing in god to do what he knows how to do best which is blow our minds away in the best way possible so that's what i'm gonna believe him for yeah i do feel better talking to you guys and I've been talking to God too, so thank you. But yeah, I'll try to vlog every day so you guys can see me more often. I'm just going to do my journal and write in here some of my thoughts and feelings. And then I'll go inside and look at this city view. It's amazing. Go inside and start my dinner, start my week, prep my week because I've got my last week coming. Let's do some journaling.
guys i took my hair off so you're gonna get this angle i made dinner looks great i hope it tastes good lately i've been cooking and each time i'm like that could have been better that could have been better anyways i'm about to turn on oh my god they're stumping so hard up there um i'm about to eat my dinner and put on felicity guys it's getting crazy on felicity because blair is cheating <laughs> 